midterm elections in November, but we are already looking towards the presidential election in 2024, where it seems that 45 has a real chance to be 47. Well, Donald Trump hasn't been hurt at all by this sham January 6th committee. His support is only growing. A New York Times poll has Donald Trump ahead of likely contender Governor Ron DeSantis, 49 to 25 percent. That's a large lead. But this weekend at the Turning Point USA Student Action Summit, their straw poll showed Trump up 50 points, 78.7 to 19 over DeSantis in his own state. The candidates that Trump supports are winning as well. One of them is Arizona Attorney General candidate Abe Hamaday, who spoke on Friday at Trump's Save America rally. Big tech is censoring conservatives. Corporations are shoving their woke agenda down our throats. The liberal academics are indoctrinating children and teaching them to hate America. We are at war with the radical left. And it's time to elect America first Republicans who are going to punch back and go on offense just like President Donald Trump. And we are pleased to welcome the man himself, Abraham Hamaday. Abe, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me on. Well, first of all, congratulations on that coveted endorsement. Uh, you know, we, we know by experience that Donald Trump always knows how to pick some winners. Uh, and last year, we saw that Trump endorsed candidates win 80 percent of the time. But this primary season, he's winning 93 percent of the time. Talk to us about what that endorsement means to you and just his ability to put a campaign uh, over the top. Well, he actually endorsed me on his birthday last month, so it was quite a surprise, <laughs> but you know, very generous of him, and it's really shot us up. It's been a rocket ship since we've received his endorsement, but with that comes the negative attacks, obviously. there's uh, The establishment is still trying to fight uh, for their power and influence within the Republican Party, so you know, that's why I mentioned in my speech, before we defeat the radical left in November, we first have to defeat the weak need establishment Republicans in the primary. So, you know, it's been it's been really an, uh, an honor of my life, not just to receive the endorsement, but to actually speak with him on stage on Friday. So you know, he, he is the most powerful force in po political history that that's that's in our modern era. So it's quite an endorsement, uh, quite, quite an honor to receive his endorsement. And we're going to win this uh, race uh, next Tuesday. All right, well, let's get into some key issues that you're running on. We see violence against police officers is up all over the country. Uh, but in Phoenix, there's been a 30 percent increase in violence against cops in the past five years. I mean, this predates the defund the police man mantra of two years ago. Uh, let me ask you, Abe, why do you think this is happening and what will you do about it as attorney general? You're exactly right. And actually, it's increased a lot more since the George Floyd BLM riots that we that occurred and two summers ago. So and this is where the, the left has gaslighted us, right? They're, now they're trying to claim that they're not about defunding the police. But we, we recognize that that's what they actually had policy positions on. But what's worse than defunding the police is that they've demoralized them. So the city of Phoenix actually has a shortage of a thousand police officers. You know, this is unsustainable numbers. And, you know, this, uh, Phoenix is actually leading the country in assaults on police officers, which is horrific because you know, it's really gotten an open season for assaults on police without any ramifications. As attorney general, what I want to work for is to actually codify qualified immunity for our law enforcement officers. Because right now, what you're seeing is that police are hesitating. And it's because they're worried that they're going to make you know, front page stories in, in the news if they make the, the wrong decision. So you know, we, they can't hesitate. And that's why the assaults on the police officers are increasing. So we have to stand with our, our, our men and women in law enforcement. And as attorney general, that's what I commit to do. And Abe, you know, another issue that we're really seeing uh, across the country and it's going ignored is the need for mental health assistance. When you talk about uh, the restrictions that the left is trying to place on firearms, you know, Democrats ignore this problem completely. They're the, the party of root causes, except when it comes to uh, the violence that we're seeing. Uh, what can you do to help the situation? Right. I have actually particular experience with the mental illness in our country. So as a former prosecutor in Maricopa County, my jurisdiction was downtown Phoenix. You know, typically a lot of the homeless population, a lot of the drug crimes are going to be in the city centers. But what happens is a lot of the mentally ill, they actually commit crimes and they're deemed incompetent to stand trial. 
So what happens then is that they actually get sent to the state hospital system because they're a threat to themselves or others, and they get forcibly injected with medication. And then they get released back into society without any resources, and they commit the same crimes over and over again, and sometimes they escalate their crimes. As attorney general, what I need to work with a good governor. There's another good Trump-endorsed candidate running for governor here in Arizona, Carrie Lake. I'll work with her and her state legislature to get the resources and actually have mental illness group homes in the city center so that they actually have a place where they can live and they can be housed and get the resources to you know, maintain their medication. And to declare that invasion at the southern border on day one. Absolutely. We have to declare it as an invasion. I mean, your previous guest mentioned the strain on resources, not just in Arizona, but all across the country. It is priority number one for me as attorney general, as well as the new governor. Well, Abe Hamaday, thank you so much and best of luck in the campaign. Thanks, Abe. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Mercedes.